When the tornadoes of April 2011 unleashed, DeKalb County, Alabama saw the greatest loss of life in our area. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Latricia Thomas. 33 people died in those storms, and Saturday will mark the two-year anniversary. News Channel 9's John Madewell returned to Rainsville today, and he joins us now with a story of survival. Okay. John. Well, Latricia, this is a story, as we said, of survival and renewal. That happened for a young student you're about to meet and his school. We first met Blake Granados in August 2011. That's when Plainview students first went back to school. And Blake's survival story is an incredible one. Yeah, I can remember flying in and something cut my head and my mom said there was nothing but my skull showing in. Today's a much different and better picture. Blake's now in the seventh grade. His skin grafts are finished. And then they did a uh, like a hair transplant, some back here, up here, and just all my natural, normal hair. And the main school in Rainsville has also seen quite a transformation. Several classrooms, hallways, and wings are new. Outside, an agricultural center, home economics, and nutrition center remain under construction. Over spring break, construction crews leveled the heavily damaged gym. A new one's expected this summer. And one other key building now sits on campus. Plainview and Rainsville are ready for the next vicious storm. This tornado shelter is built to withstand 250 mile an hour winds. Before, when we had a tornado warning, we got in the hallways. Now we have to evac we, we get to evacuate the building and go to the storm shelter. And this shelter has another purpose. If it's after school hours, this building is open to the community. They've already used it once. And we were in between that time frame a little bit. So I got it open, had a lot of community members come over that afternoon too. So. And when the skies threaten, Blake has become a leader at home for his two younger brothers. I'm older and like, I don't go around acting scared at home because if I do, they like take to tend after me and if they see me scared, they're gonna act scared. Now the principal says the new buildings, renovations and fresh paint have been an emotional lift. She added when tornado warnings are forecast in the morning, they go ahead and open the shelter for a quick evacuation. Kim and Latricia, back to you guys.